Hey guys, I hope you're hungry. Welcome back to War Stories here on the Full Instance channel. My name is Jericho. So, for today's War Story, might be a little bit shorter. I don't really have that much to say about the topic, but I wanted to say something and people have asked, you know, what my opinion is. So I figured I would go ahead and make a video on the subject. Star Wars Episode 8, um, which will be in theaters December the 15th. Um, I just talked about it on the um, movies of 20, 2017 finally has an official title star wars episode 8 will be called will be subtitled the last jedi star wars the last jedi i love it i think it's neat i like that um they've done this a, f a few times in the past um iceman was, was reminding me about it I, I i didn't really think about it at the time like um empire um for empire's posters the star wars letters are in blue um for jedi they were in purple and for uh, Last Jedi, yeah, I can't say, you can't say Jedi anymore. For Return of the Jedi, they were in purple. And now for The Last Jedi, they are in red. So a lot of people are saying um, that The Last Jedi title refers to um, Rey. I don't agree with that. I don't think that's the way they're going to go with it. I think it's about Luke. I think that like our, our patience will, will have paid off. Um, the fact that, um, that Luke is... You know, barely in episode seven, it barely in Force Awakens at all, only for the very last scene. Doesn't speak a single word, even though he's the focus of the movie, you know? So I think that that focus and that build is going to be paid off in this movie. I think this is going to be all about Luke. It's going to be, I, I, I feel like it's going to feature a lot of flashbacks. I think we're going to see more of what happened with him and Kylo Ren. Um, they might do some flashback scenes. I would love for them to do a flashback scene with him and Han. Um, Harrison Ford is part of the cast for Episode Eight, as I recall. Um, so, like, of, of course, um, that's something I, I, I think would be. Um, <laughs> I mean, just to people, it would be a damn shame if they never show um, Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill together one more time. Um, and I do feel like um, there's a lot of story that came in between that they want to tell. I mean, obviously they're not going to overdo it on the flashbacks because there's a reason why, you know, they stuck with the older actors. Um, like, of course, they're limited. Um, what they can do is kind of limited by, um, you know, the ages and, of course, the loss of Carrie Fisher. Um, but I do, I do feel like that, <clears throat> that this is going to be Luke's story. So, yeah, a lot of people say Rey is, is the reference of the title, but... You know, the whole point of, I think, you know, I, this is this idea is not original to me. Um, I think it might have been an AV Club article where I first saw this. Um, and I'm sorry for not, you know, the proper credit. Um, but I saw a thought that it's not, th that the Jedi as we know them are going to be done. Like, that, that was something that was explored in one of the last um, series of... Um, of expanded universe novels before um, they announced, you know, the, the, the takeover by Disney and they um, quit the old EU. Um, I believe the series is called Legacy of the Force. Heir of the Force. It's on my it's on my wall. I'm trying to look at it right now while I'm not getting murdered by these stormtroopers. Hang on, I'm actually going to pause it. I don't care. Okay. Ah! Fate, Fate of the Jedi. Fate of the Jedi. Yes. And that explores um, like you know, there, 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 there is a line of thought that religion caused all the world's wars. Um, you know, a lot of people say there's a lot to that. So this Fate of the Jedi book series um, sort of explores that. That, like, hello, <laughs> every all the Galactic Civil War, the Clone Wars, like the fall of the Republic, like all of these big conflicts we've had, the Jedi and the Force users in general have been at the middle of it and at the time of this series of books um jason solo who is um a, a son of han and leia it, again in this continuity this is all i mean i'm, I'm just drawing comparisons here this of course is not the way they're going to go with it at least not directly um he had just turned evil darth Cadus had wreaked uh wreaked havoc across the galaxy and had to be taken down and all that you know like, like classic star wars stuff but you know the the point of you know the the bad guys or or like you know not not so much bad guys like that's the whole thing but anyway the point that is raised is like so we have all these jedi but like at any moment one of them could decide you know what i'm sick of like one of them could turn to the dark side and then we'll have a situation like jason and like vader like um you know we can't trust these people with all this power um 
to not go insane and kill us. So I wonder if if that if, if, if the point of the of the last Jedi title is because we no longer know like the Jedi as we know them are about to change and be different. Um, and that's that's a uh, that's an interesting way to go with it. And I would I would love to see that 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 Luke wants to train Rey differently. Uh, that's that's another reason why I feel like the the, the last Jedi is Luke. That's why I'm playing as Luke in this, of course. Um, that Luke, um, Luke is the last Jedi. He has seen the failures. You know, he see, you know, of course, the original failure of what happened to his father, his own failure with um, Kylo Ren, um, you know, turning on turning on him and all his students, and you know, everything that happened with the Knights of Ren, all that good stuff. Um, so I think Luke is going to be like, you know what? The Jedi need to change. And I don't know if, like, they're going to just decide, like, okay, we're not going to call them Jedi anymore. Now they're bagels. I don't think bagels would be the term, but it could be. It could be. Um, like, I don't know if they're going to move away from, from Jedi as, like, a, a very, like, a beloved, marketable, you know, wonderful term. That, you know, Return of the Jedi. Like, you know, but... I, I, I wonder if that will be part of this movie's DNA about how the nature of the Jedi is changing. And that's why Luke is the last Jedi as we've known them. But maybe it's Rey. Maybe it's Rey and it's all about her getting trained. Maybe Luke doesn't survive episode eight. I would be surprised to see that. Um, especially, I mean, episode eight been wrapped before um, Carrie Fisher passed away. But I mean, I would say her fate in episode nine is, um, undecided to be sure undetermined um so i would be surprised to see them kill off luke but they didn't know what was going to happen with gary fisher but if if luke is to pass it is to be killed off in the series which could happen um it's not gonna be until episode nine they're gonna keep him around until then i i am pretty sure so therefore he's still around and ray of course has already been shown to be potent with the force so Either way, there's at least two Jedi. So that's what makes me think, you know, like th they're going with this sort of a, a title with it. And I think it's also interesting that it's the last Jedi. It's not the last of the Jedi or, you know, the fate of the Jedi or whatever, like this book series. Like it, it's it's specific about one single person. And I, I feel like the focus is Luke, but the story might be about how the Jedi Order needs to change um, as, as Luke trains Rey, who, you know, maybe is his... Maybe it's his daughter, maybe it's his relative, maybe is you know, a, a scion of his master. Someone important to him, you know, one way or the other. So that's my thoughts on Fate of the Jedi. Uh, by the way, I love the title. Uh, I've never really talked about it. Um, I like the Star Wars movie titles. Um, I think, I don't really like the title A New Hope. I know, and I know to a lot of people, like it wasn't called A New Hope um, for the longest, like, it was always just Star Wars, or Star Wars 1977, you know, a lot of people, like, <clears throat> it was only, it was A New Hope in the Crawl, but your, your, your ticket said Star Wars, and it wasn't really until we were all sure that there was going to be more than just one episode that people called it that, but, but A New Hope, I'm not, I, I'm not crazy about that one. Empress Strikes Back is icon iconic and amazing and perfect. Return of the Jedi, Phantom Menace, I, I, I do like, um, not my favorite. Attack of the Clones is my least favorite, and I know, I know, um, you know, George Lucas was going for, yeah, a B-movie, because, like, that's all, that's, that's what he really wanted in his life, is to make B-movies, I guess. Um, that crap will cost you. But, <clears throat> um, I love Force Awakens. I think I like that even more than Fate of the Jedi, and I, because I love, um, like, it's perfect, like, the Force, you know, Star Wars, the Force, everything has been hibernating, you know, for 30 years. And now it's all back in, in, in a huge way, bigger than basically anybody could have imagined. Um, so it's perfect, but The Last Jedi is very evocative. Um, I don't know. It's a cool title. I'm excited. I'm so glad that finally uh, Iceman and I were just complaining on a war story about how, like, like, come on, they need to finally tell us, like, what's going on? What are they going to do with... Um, like how um, Adam Driver, who plays Kylo Ren, like, is like, I don't think they should. I was like, but, um, like, I don't think they should do any trailers at all. And it's like, yeah, it's easy for you to say, you got to be in it. But um, 
I'm so glad we're finally getting information. I would expect a teaser trailer in February or March, and then probably the first full trailer at Celebration, which is usually in June, I think. Um, Star Wars Celebration, maybe April. Um, I, I, I don't know exactly the time, but, but, but this is just the beginning of a whole year of build-up towards, you know, obviously, at least to me, but I think to anybody, the biggest movie of the year, um, Star Wars Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. So I, I will update. I mean, I, I'm not. This is not a clickbaity news site. Um, when there's something that I feel like I have, you know, a thought to share, or something that I feel like I could get a good episode out of talking about, I'll share it. I'm running right into the path of my own thing here. Um, but every single time there's a tiny little news update, like this guy added to the cast, or this, that, or the other, don't expect. Because, like I mean, this is not. This is not a, a clickbaity news channel, but I will, um, one way or the other, sort of keep keep you guys updated on episode eight news um, as it happens. Just because it's what I'm interested in. War Stories is what I feel like talking about as I goof around on Battlefront. So that will continue as we move into Star Wars episode eight season. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, we have War Stories just like this every Tuesday and Thursday. Usually I try to play um, against the computers, but I wanted to play as Luke. Um, to, to, fit, to fit the theme. Uh, usually I don't play the computers, I should say. Um, so yeah, that was my, my reasoning for that. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy Tuesdays and Thursdays, I talked about all sorts of different little topics. Um, fun for everybody, but there's content every single day on the Fulton channel, so if War Stories aren't your thing, stick around, subscribe, um, check out my Let's Plays on Mondays, Mondays and Fridays, uh, my First Impressions series on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and some co-op stuff on Sundays. So thanks again for watching, make sure you do subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I don't know about you, but I'm cool.